Hello and greetings from Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, I've just arrived. I'm uh, on this um, uh, well, apartment. That's on the <laughs> 62nd floor. It's a uh, fright. I've never held onto my phone as hard. It's uh, frightening to look down. And uh, anyway, I think this might make for a cool demonstration of radio frequency radiation and how it relates to a view. Furthermore, we can demonstrate how building materials have an effect on this. So stay tuned. I think you'll find this interesting. All right, so anyway, let's have a look at my exposure right here, right? So I've got my HF field probe here. Just have to get that uh, sort of focus on the light. Come on. There we go. So that's basically, yeah, maxing out, nearly maxing out. In other videos I've just made, it was maxing out. Here we go, maxed out. All right. There we go. So because this, all the cell phone towers down there, I don't think they'll be particularly aimed up. Although here there's so many high rises that probably are aimed up a little bit. Um, but they, of course, have radiation shooting off in various directions, including up. And so because we have a nice view of the city, all the towers that are there have a nice view of us, interrupted view. And so that's why we get high levels of radio frequency radiation. Um, now, uh, yeah, it's quite pretty in all directions. Now, what I can demonstrate here is that I've got my bedroom over here and we've got glass here. Right, double glass, it'll be particular type of glass. And so if I, oh, sorry, before I do that, so these towers are aiming up at me, right? They're trying to reach up to get me. I mean, you know, I assume most of them, I'm guessing maybe here on the top, there's something as well, but a lot of them will be shooting their radiation up. So if I hide, let's say, behind the concrete, then less of them will be able to have a direct line of sight of you with me, right? So if I stand, focus again. Oh, sorry. All right. So off the dial, and as I make myself smaller, sort of hide behind some of the concrete. A little bit of a reduction, not so much. But if I retreat into the room all right those levels are going down now if i stand back here of course i'm behind some of this glass right but if i close this door you see that has quite a good impact on the exposure all right we're looking at 1600 microvolts now that's due to the type of glass that's used and it's because I'm retreating into the property. So if I now go to the area where the bed is, we're looking at about, let's say a thousand microvolts this time, 800, 1000. Now in our experience of the Geovital Academy for Radiation Protection, in our experience, when we're dealing with people um, you know, we want to make a healthy sleeping environment. We would like to see this at 30 or less. If it's over 100, we would urge people to put shielding in place. So this is still not good enough. You know, the concrete still will let things through and the window will definitely let more through. And so we still want to shield this, but it's a nice, nice reduction as we retreat into the room. So in theory, the deeper we go in, the lower this gets. Of course, it varies all the time, right? It goes up and down. Cool. Anyway, I thought that uh, made for an interesting, uh, interesting little video. Hope you uh, got something out of it. So now the other thing for me that, uh, of course, I'm always interested in, and. Uh, Possibly, um, you know, also able to teach some classes from here for which we need this. All right, so I'm going to have a little play with that before I dive into bed. And um, yeah, 
This is what my uh, travel snaps <laughs> from RF levels and circuit breaker panels. All right, hope you found this interesting and uh, stay tuned for more. Hey, uh, talking about more, um, we're getting the distinct feeling that on Facebook, on YouTube, um, we are not reaching as many people as we used to with our videos. Um, I think after the whole Stop 5G thing and the fact checkers, um, I think our industry is being sort of labeled as anti-Google, anti-YouTube. Um, and yeah, uh, what I'm trying to point out is that it is even more important for you to share this content so it reaches people. Share it. If you share the link in Facebook groups, in uh, you know, on your own page, send it to people, um, then it gets looked at. Um, it, it seems to be far less put in front of people as it did in the past. So uh, we're re relying on you to, you know, um, I'm happy to make the content, but yeah, people need to need to of course watch. So please, uh, please share, and we'll uh, be able to show you more. All right, see you next time.